Welcome to the Realistic Viewer channel. My name is Ivan and today let's talk about seven methods to source for niche and specific content if you are a blogger, a YouTuber or somebody that creates content on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. But more after the intro. Let's start with the first method. You should always take care of looking at trends and new developments in your niche, as that can also be a great way to create new content and stay relevant to also make use of trending topics. If you want to learn more about trending topics, I have a video and you can check it out in the card that appears here. Next method, method number two, is follow-up content. Follow-up content is content that you usually see, for example, in the movie industry. You have a great title, a video has been made, a whole movie, and they have a follow-up, so that means the second version of the video that continues the content in its own. First of all, why should you do a follow-up? First, you already have an audience that is interested in the type of topics that you are making. Then, the second thing is, you already created a little bit of a hype and interest into the topic itself and if you already add additional information the chance that your audience that is interested comes back and consumes more content also the fact that you already created that interest it creates new interest for other audiences to enjoy the content get used to your brand and grow eventually to a bigger audience. Method number three is the spin-off. What is the spin-off? It is new content that doesn't really focus on the main element of the previous content, but is considered less relevant in that previous content and now has been shined bigger light and is a new IP on its own. So back to the movie example, let's take for example Snow White. It is a very popular concept. A lot of children and people from my age group and older know about Snow White, but you are now creating a spin-off, which is focusing on the other element that might have not been as relevant. So for example, the Seven Dwarfs. You make a whole series about them, uh, make a large adventure, have uh, different types of episodes focusing on all the dwarves and in its own it becomes popular because it is attached to a bigger concept on its own. Next up is creating a word web. What is a word web? Well it's actually you start with a main content so for example marketing and then you branch off to smaller topics so you want to talk about reviews, how to brand, how to present your brand, etc. In that way, you create more topics based around the main concept and on its own, it creates additional content, follow-up content, and on its own, you can create a large list of different topics so you can plan ahead and get more content out on a regular basis. For a more concrete example for this is, let's think about a PC channel. So in the beginning, you start with the main concept of what is a PC and what are the components that are included into a PC. Then you talk about developments in the PC world. Uh, the fusion of phones with a PC etc 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 and as you see you start from the beginning you start with the larger concepts and then you branch out to concepts that are relevant to your main topic but are a division from the main topic itself next up is getting your community and your audience involved with the type of topics that you make of course Think about questions that they might have when they are visiting your niche or your content. 
start from the beginning. So in my case, for example, um, we begin with the concept of what is branding? What is marketing? How do you brand yourself? How do you brand your channel? How do you create a personal brand? And because you create content and your audience might be interested in this type of topic, get them involved, get questions out and answer them with your own content and of course create that bond with your audience. The other reason for that is also because you then create a feedback loop. That means that when you create content, the person that is interested in your content actually responds, makes a video, makes a content and leaves a comment. And in that way you see what type of content works for your audience, which doesn't and on its own, you can create that feedback loop so you don't have to worry about not having creative or relevant ideas to your audience. Next up is forums and niche specific content sources. As I said before, keep an eye out on the talks of your peers in your sector. It will help you understand the developments and the shifts in the market. Kiora and Reddit are great places to start off and engage in the conversation as these locations have all specific types of niches and of course if you create a niche or it doesn't exist yet you can create your own forum page and get people who are interested in that type of topic together and form that community. This is one that you might not have considered yet actually follow your followers because usually if you can check out and find out what they're interested in and what type of topics and interests they have you can create content around that and build that community as they are noticing yeah hmm, he actually thinks the same like me he has the same opinions i feel his energy or her energy ladies of course but in that way you can get more into the minds of your consumers of your content this one is actually youtube focused actually check out your analytics then go into your key phrases and check out which type of tags on your videos what you search for have a quite low amount of watch time maybe in those tags you find a topic that you haven't considered yet because you've created content it is relevant to the topic but it doesn't specifically fulfill the need of the one that is actually searching that video consider that and I believe that you will get a lot of topics that are related to each other but slightly different so I gave you seven methods to source and look for new ways to get more content out. Subscribe if you're new, hit the bell to stay notified, and I'll see you next week or the week after for more content on the Realistic Viewer channel. This is Ivan from the Realistic Viewer channel helping you achieve more.